Lefi. Well, just a few hours ago, there was drama at cult leader Paul McKenzie's home in Furunzi village on the outskirts of Malindi town. After locals stormed the homestead, demanding for tough action against the controversial preacher. Locals destroyed a perimeter wall housing the Good News International Church and the home of the suspected cult leader, accusing the government of delaying the investigations. Some of them claim to have lost their loved ones to the fasting cult, some calling for quick intervention to save those that are still alive in the Shakahola forest. Police intervened, having to lob tear gas canisters to disperse the rowdy youth baying for Mackenzie's blood. Police have evacuated his close family members for safety reasons, among them his mother, who was locked up in the house at the time of the melee. Locals have been warned against taking actions into their own hand as the authorities appeal for calm to allow for investigations and the law to take its course. <laughs> kwa vile serikali inafanya uchunguzi wao ambao hawajapata mwelekeo ni vipi kutakuwa sasa kama ni vile makenzi atahukumiwa ama atarudi kubakishwa tena aendelee kuwa wale ambao wamebaki na kuwazika hiyo ndio inafanya sasa ule ushauri ambao serikali inaweza fanya na kuelekeza hao wakazi wa maeneo haya ni ni yapi anaendelea ndio kinachofanya sasa sisi tukakasirika na kufanya kuchukua uamuzi mkononi watu hawakufurahi kwa ajili aliyoifanya watu wako na huzuni amechukua wananchi kuwanyonga kwa hali ya kutafuta pesa na sisi hatukuridhika na hiyo hali na saa hii makenzi tungempata tungemchukulia uamuzi mgumu sana maana sisi tuko na uchungu maana mimi niko na dada yangu anaishi huko na saa hii uko mochar kwa ajili ya leo profesa kuja kumfanyia upasuaji na kujua hali ni nini tuache mkono wa sheria ufuate sheria e, tuifuate sheria mpaka mwisho ili tukaweze kupata justice kama community na tukaweze kupata justice kwa wale victims wote ambao ile kesi yao inaendelea A co-founder of the Good News International Church in Malindi, 